Hey everybody, welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison, and today we're going to do a, a color in chat. So, working on this uh, Color by Numbers Seed Life, and we're doing a sea turtle. Alright, let's just dive right in. Uh, basically there's a color legend that, on the front cover of the book, or this magazine. But, yeah, I just found the best matches to the colors that were at the front of the book. So, yeah, it is a color by number. So, yep, I just matched the colors as best as I could. And, uh, yeah, we'll just dive right in. Yep, so, yeah, it's a sea turtle in the ocean. Sir, rounded by fish, and I'm just going through color by color. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Okay, so light brown. So I'm just using Crayola pencil crayons. Nothing fancy. It was like a light brown. Here we are. Okay. So now let's jump right back in. Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend. Still on camera here. Didn't exactly finish number six. Uh, shortly after the hour. The uh, previous installment of this. Uh, I was just uh, going through the colors. Okay, and I seen number six, like right here, right after. Okay. Oops, I'm always going to bump that my camera naturally. Alright, I'm not sure if that was the last of six. Oh, here we are. Thing. I just only color uh, during uh, these color and chats. I don't color ahead or anything. So, here we go. There's another six. Ah, so I wasn't exactly done six. Oh, there we go. Yeah, once the hour hits, I generally, generally stop recording. So, that's just how I roll. I think that's another six there. That's 12, that's 6, holy cow, this is very intricate, but that's okay. Okay, 8, 9, 9, okay, that should be... Good for now, I hope. Just like me with diamond painting, I will probably guaranteed miss a spot. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Eight, eight. Okay, I'll just put this away. Okay, what's number seven? Tan. It's the pencil crayon I always seem to pick up, so. It's actually tan. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I have a cup of coffee with me. Delicious cup of coffee. Have a coaster. I should be using a coaster. <laughs> Alright. Number seven. Yeah, it's Basically on the turtle. Still. Yep. Okay. Alright. So, basically just another shade of brown. Tan. A little lighter than the light brown, for sure. 
very intricate turtle we have here. So that's pretty cool. It's amazing what a uh, difference color can make. So you think light brown would be lighter than tan, but tan is darker. Or er, lighter than light brown. Just wow. <laughs> okay, seven. There's got to be more sevens on here. Yeah, what a difference between light brown and tan. <laughs> Not really an artist myself, but I don't know. It's never too late to embrace this kind of stuff. Don't tell me there's just those two seven. Gotta be more seven on here. That would be really weird. <laughs> to really look at the turtle here. Wow, that's weird. Eight. Oh, wow, okay. I'm seeing a lot of eight. <laughs> Trying to find more seven. Just kind of going through this color by number and order here. Okay, we'll just jump into eight. Okay. Uh, golden yellow. Okay, here we are. Golden yellow. Alright, eight. Okay. Or I'll start here. Eight. Golden yellow. Okay, here we are. Ah, oh, no. Tip broke off. Uh, it seems like the Crayolas are the lead's a little weaker than other pencil grams I found. Just seems that way. Oh well. I do have a sharpener around here. Uh, not necessarily a container to... Uh, let's use my garbage can on hand here. Should really get like a container of some sort. I'm just sharpening my pencil grain here. <laughs> I really like using these metal pencil sharpeners. I do have like a pencil sharpener, like canister pencil sharpeners but I find these stainless steel or metal pencil sharpeners work the best I don't know they just seem to sharpen better oh man it's like the only golden yellow I have here and the lead just keeps on breaking on me. Right, sharpen these beforehand. Before I started a uh, recording. Oh, 
Okay, I'll just try hop sharpening it. Oh, silly garbage. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's leave that pencil sharpener handy. Okay, I didn't sharpen it to a point necessarily. Ah, uh, pencil shaping's all over the place. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll just make it work. Okay, so, number eight. Oh yeah, I think... Yeah, this whole... kind of area of coral is all number eight. So, I'll just color it that way. Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend so far. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume this is all eight. Duh, haven't had a too bad a weekend. Got the diamond paint a bit, but yeah. <laughs> probably like not as much as I imagined to get done. It pretty easily distracted. <laughs> Oh, I like slept in again today. Like midnight shift, like still messes my sleep schedule up. Probably could have gotten up like two hours earlier than I actually got up, but what can you do? That's seven right there. Oh man, <laughs> ten. Oh, <laughs> wasn't really looking, I guess. Okay. Now I see a seven. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, here. Eight. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just basically this coral to start. It's looking for the number eight in here. And I'm pretty much finding. That it's this coral to start in the bottom left hand corner here. The picture. Okay, that, this squiggle here is number 10, so I gotta watch that. Okay, it's labeled 8 over here as well. Okay, that's 8. Well, oh, this is quite a network. Okay, sure, I get this colored into. yellow anyway. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, 
I just try to systematically go through the picture, just numerically, in a chronological order. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an OCD thing, if you ask me, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, same with me and word surges. I just do it in alphabetical order. Just go through the list. Even in missing list uh, word searches, I uh, just go through each puzzle in order from uh, front to back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just how I have always done word searches. And I usually use highlighter or uh, draw lines through the letters in the diagram once I found a word. Okay, there we go. Let's look at on like pencil shaving on here. Okay, this is like quite a network of coral here. It's amazing what's uh, actually at the bottom of the ocean. And we probably haven't like discovered Vast amounts of the ocean. <laughs> or they're not charted necessarily. Dear knows what it could be lingering at the bottom of the ocean. It could be like a whole underwater kingdom or something. Like a vast underwater city where mermaid people live or something. <laughs> <laughs> or a lost civilization just loaded with treasure <laughs> wow that yellow is just popping right off the page here okay I'm seeing quite a fair bit of yellow so we're going to be on number 8 for quite a bit here But that's okay. <laughs> okay, kind of all right, here we go. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to be going all over the page here. Okay. Oh, wow. A good chunk of this turtle. Okay. I'm just seeing eight here. So. Wow. Alright, this is going to be quite a chunk of the turtle here. Check my phone screen as we go here. 
just to make sure I'm not coloring out of off screen here because I have placed drills off screen while doing the whipping chats. <laughs> yeah, my uh, drafting tables at a nearly vertical with uh, Chuck Pinson uh, canvas that I'm working on for my whip and chat for diamond painting. Yeah, I kind of tilted my drafting table a bit more. It's because I found I was kind of reaching. Kind of overextending myself to reach the top of the canvas. Okay, that's nine right there. Okay, this is eight. Yeah, just, okay, yep, eight. That's nine. Okay, yeah, there's going to be quite a fair bit of eight here. But that's okay. Oops, yeah, I'm starting to... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, I can try to sharpen this a little better, too. Yeah, some of this is... Oh, yeah, that slid. Garbage can here. Oh, here goes the lead again. Wow. These Crayolas. <laughs> Do not have the best art supplies here, but why these leads are so no, just try different pencils, Jeremy. This one's obviously not being nice enough. This is... <laughs> oh, this is creative. <laughs> This color and shadow is just basically me sharpening a pencil grain. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, 
unedited, <laughs> unedited cut of me coloring. I don't really edit these too much. Okay, just naturally. I have a couple of the these metal pen pencil sharpeners over the years. Okay, so where were we? <laughs> Somewhere in here, right? Yep, yeah, it, it's not sharp in the best, but it's at least somewhat better. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, can't really color with a broken lid. <laughs> I don't know, just... It's probably what stopped me from coloring a few years back. I just got frustrated and just uh, closed the coloring book and because the leads kept breaking on me. Uh, probably uh, was uh, probably a good, fair reason for me to stop coloring. Uh, frustration of it all. Oh, that looks like, that's sick. Oh yeah, we will light brown out again. <laughs> okay, I always pick up tan. <laughs> light brown, here we go. Six. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> wow, it shows how much I pay attention. Holy cow, this is a huge chunk of six right here. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-oh. <laughs> I suddenly started seeing eight, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, th there's a line there. <laughs> Some of these are blank. It, it must be white. Oh boy. Oopsies. <laughs> Yeah, these three are like blank. There's like no number in them. So they must be intentionally white. Oops. <laughs> I've colored in a couple white spaces then. To be frank. <laughs> oh well, creative mistakes, what fun. Oh, what can you do? Not much. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, color, 
fill this in as best as I can. Uh, I'm not doing a really great job right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's put that away for now. Oh well. <laughs> okay, we're still on eight, right? Okay. Uh, let's keep plundering on. Can't be perfect 100% of the time. Wow, just just this uh golden yellow. This is like holy. Ah oh, man, see? Hey. <laughs> it just this is golden yellow for some reason. It's just getting shorter and shorter. So I have lead again, it's just I'm not gonna sharpen this to a fine point because it's obviously not holding up. Alright, we we'll get through this, we'll get through color 8. I just don't know if I have another golden yellow. But... <laughs> Yeah, this is life. Uh, this is how it goes. <laughs> yeah, this is coloring in the raw. I really don't edit any of these videos. I just add my logo. It's <laughs> A logo at the beginning and a logo at the end. Everything in between, I have not edited at all. So, just, this is the color and chat and whip and chat. And I just hit record. <laughs> this is my YouTube channel that goes the color for you. <laughs> this is uh, just what I do. I wouldn't want it any other way. Or just hanging out in coloring. <laughs> or hanging out in diamond painting. That's echoes of color. <laughs> so, when leads break, leads break. <laughs> when I spill a tray of drills, I'm going to spill a tray of drills. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's the way it goes. Okay, eight, eight. And I'm just gonna go all over the place on this page. Just wherever I see a number. The pencil crayon that I'm holding. <laughs> I'm gonna color. <laughs> This turtle like, has quite a lot of colors going on. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, another patch of six here. Oh, man. Wow, I'm blind. Okay. <laughs> light brown. Get the light brown out again. There's like a whole other patch of six here. Wow. <laughs> it's been really tired 
when I was holding the six pencil current. Okay, that's eight. Six. Okay, let's get tricky around here. Because there's like no breaking. Yeah, it just blends, I don't know. This is, this is funny. This is a uh, diamond painting in a nutshell. It's like messing a symbol and you get a new color out and you see the number you were just working on. A number that you missed. <laughs> it just spills over to coloring by number, I guess. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, or I'm blind. <laughs> hey, cut me some slack. These numbers are small. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That'll sell. Okay, I don't know if those are. Those are probably like white spots. Yeah, those are. Oh well. It's only a little tiny. I don't know. There we go. I think there like should be a line like right there, but Okay, I'll just leave six hanging out. <laughs> okay, back to eight. <laughs> oh, this is a really multifunctional. Uh, color in chat here. <laughs> ah, man. This can be a bit of color blending <laughs> along some of these edges here. Uh, I just can color that yellow. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll just kind of join those two colors. There we go. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. Okay. Alright, parts of this, uh, the lip of this turtle shell is number eight as well. Uh, let's keep looking at the legend, just to make sure I'm holding the right pencil current. Yeah, I've got to have spurts of OCD here, for sure. That's number nine. Okay, yeah, let's just work on the shell. Set that <laughs> light brown over there. <laughs> Favorite color right now, I guess. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, so eight. Basically like half the numbers like right in front of me and I still screw up the parts of the picture. <laughs> Number eight is this color. Oopsies. <laughs> Jeff, you can't even handle color by number. No, it's too hard. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Color by number is too hard. Better get a children's coloring book. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Just wow. <laughs> oh man. Okay, the breastplate of this turtle. Is this yellow as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, just look up children's books, uh, children's coloring books on Amazon. <laughs> what the heck are you coloring? <laughs> These aren't adult coloring books at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like a kitten. It's like five colors. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't handle the adult coloring books. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like 10 freaking colors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo! What a fun coloring hour that would be. Oh man. Why are you coloring in a children's coloring book? What's wrong with you? I tried adulting, but it wasn't working. <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to color this sea turtle. And uh, it's fishy friends. We'll get through this. We'll do it together. <laughs> uh, through, through tears and heartbreak and anguish. Of not coloring in the lines. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, this is iced coffee at this point. This has been a rough 40-something minutes. <laughs> Surprised I'm not uh, curled up in a ball crying in a corner yet. <laughs> oh, man. The pencil current keeps on breaking. No. Golden yellow. Color of the year. Oh, man. Yep, hardcore professional colorer here. Yep, man, it's really showing them. Yep, won awards for uh, my coloring. <laughs> <laughs> Sad nobody. Oh, man. Ah, crap. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to be having fun coloring, aren't we? We're supposed to be relaxing and fun. Oops. Fail. Oh well, we'll get there. It may take a few videos to get through. Yeah, muffins. Okay. Oh, just trying to find oh, this fish has a yellow. This looks like number eight. That's number eight. Here, somewhere in there. <laughs> there we go. But uh. Okay. Fish his upper lip here. Looks like number eight. There we go. Okay. Sixteen, twenty-four, twenty-one, uh, twenty-three. Holy cow. What is that? That's 19. 
Holy cow. I'm surprised I can see that. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, we go. I'm going to be able to color that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Duh. Like pencil crown shavings everywhere on this desk. Okay, here we go. But, uh. Can I have like. A golden yellow pencil crayon by the time we're done here. <laughs> yeah, it's shrinking considerably. Uh, this is just one uh, color and jet. Me using this color for the first time in like a long time. A few years. There we go. Alright. Oh, holy. I'm really good at hitting my camera here. I'm just. Yeah, I'm, I have the best cinematography, and I'm really good at coloring. Can't you tell? Doing a bang-up job today. Having a great time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, this better all be eight. Okay. Whoopsies. I need an answer key to make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh, so that's not supposed to be that color? Oh, oops. I don't know if they show what the pictures are supposed to look like. <laughs> an answer key in a color by number book. It's kind of like an answer key in a word search book. But, yeah, I had to look in the answer key the other day. Or yesterday for uh, missing like a blank list, I was just not seeing the last word that I needed for uh, the puzzle. And, yeah, once I knew what the word was, I seen the word in the diagram of the word search. So, oh my gosh. I do... I don't just sit down and do a puzzle. I have magazine after magazine of uh, Kappa word searches. Yeah, I do like probably six or seven puzzles in a sitting. I just whiz through some of them, and then there's like missing vowels, and yeah, I, I love my word searches. <laughs> I do the occasional uh, fill-in as well. Uh, it's basically like a crossword, but without the clues. And you're counting. It's like modeled exactly like a crossword, but yeah, without the clues. But you're like counting the number of letters, and you're fitting the words in the diagram. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, fill it in. Yeah, and they're just like crosswords. Yeah. So, yeah, they're grouped in letters, like three letters, and then anywhere where there's, like, space for three letters, a cross, or, yeah, a cross or down. It's exactly built like a like, crossword, like you have a diagram and all that, but there's no clues. But there's, like, a, either short forms of words, and they fit in the diagram on the corresponding page. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any of these puzzle magazines, but this is this is a Kappa, yeah, Kappa puzzles. I just bought this one. I don't have a, I have a subscription to a couple. Yeah, but yeah, they're just basically crosswords, but without the clues. So these are a, a lot better for me. I just count yeah, so any uh, words that are seven letters, you just count out seven letters, and that's possibly where the word goes, but each, yeah, you kind of use the words you have already filled in to naturally 
fill in the grid as you go. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't do these as often as I do word search, but every once in a while. I don't have as many fill-in. That's probably like the only fill-in magazine that I have. But I like doing those kind of puzzles too. Yeah, and I have like a two-year-old calendar with uh, miniature word searches that I got a couple of years ago. Yeah, I'd rather do like 24 words and like a... I'd rather do like a full-size word search puzzle, like 24 or like 60 word ones, like huge word search books. If I'm going to do like a puzzle, I'm doing a puzzle. <laughs> so that's kind of another hobby I like doing. Yeah, kappapuzzles.com. When you get a subscription from, it's an American magazine. Not blatantly advertising, but I, that's what I have. I have hundreds of them. Yeah. And there's different styles. There's like Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I think Penny Press is Garfield, but I have like Garfield uh, word searches. I just love doing word searches. That's one of my hobbies. <laughs> one of my other hobbies. Besides diamond painting and, uh, yeah, colorings, yeah. It's not a hobby, but, yeah, it's nice to do every once in a while. Yeah, I just incorporated it into the channel, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not affiliated with Cap or Penny Press, but uh, it's just, uh, those are the magazines I uh, use. <laughs> Magazines I work in, and I literally just stick with a magazine front to back and recycle it and start the next one because I have hundreds of these magazines. Like, I had four or six different subscriptions of different magazines, and when you get a subscription from Kappa Puzzles or Penny Press, you get your subscription delivered to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't fool around <laughs> so and they have large print regular print yeah they have different versions of the same magazine so if you're hard of sight you can get a large print edition and yeah subscription and it's delivered right to your mailbox so yeah if you like those kind of puzzles Fill-ins, you can get a subscription of those fill-ins that I just showed. They're not crosswords. You can get crossword uh, puzzle magazines, a subscription if you like those. Yeah. <laughs> so. But, yeah, that's a good way to spend a couple hours if uh, I can easily burn away a few hours doing a half a book of word search puzzles. <laughs> Mom's like, uh, maybe you should be doing like something else a little more productive. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> My new job, I don't really have time to sit down and I like have half an hour break and like two 15 minute breaks, but I just can't do, I just don't sit down and do word searches like I used to at my other job. So I basically do word searches at home now. I'm still going to get through those magazines as best as I can, but I have enough magazines to last me a really long time. <laughs> but I love doing them. Yeah, it's true that they can get boring after a while. Like, yeah, if you're running into the same words or the same subjects, even if it's in, like, a different magazine entirely. Or, yeah. A lot of words do repeat, I found, but you can learn stuff, too. There's various subjects across crosswords and fill-ins. Well, fill-ins aren't really subject-oriented. Just uh, random words that they put into the grid. Yeah, word searches, yeah. Word searches in crosswords can carry a theme or a subject, and words 
based on that subject. It's generally how they go. That's probably half the appeal to you. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, not sure what... That's... This section here is not really... This part of the fin is not numbered. Oh, don't tell me it's all white. Bummer. Huh. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Okay. Uh, I need more eight. I'd be glad to get this eight out of my hand. It's broken for like most of this color and jet. <laughs> Holy cow. How many times can you sharpen a pencil grain? Until it's a nub, apparently. So, yeah. Like doing fill ins. I don't do fill in puzzles a lot, but they're there. They're a good alternative. Uh,. Definitely word searches. I do number searches too. There's uh, whole books of uh, number searches too, and missing missing list word search books. There's like yeah, uh, missing vowels is a good common one. I used to not do the missing vowel puzzles where you put a e i o u. Like they're missing from the diagram and you fill them in to uh, find the words on the grid in the diagram. Those, they give you the word list, but you have to figure out where the vowels go. It's, yeah, uh, it just kind of bothered me for a good chunk there. Uh, I just didn't touch them for a while, but I'm glad I got into them. Okay, nine. It's like lemon, lemon yellow. This is number nine. So, just a different variation of yellow here. Oh, wow. We've basically, like, hit <laughs> the hour already. Oh, well. I got a bit... Oh, gosh. Don't tell me this lemon yellow is going to break on me, too. Part of the tip already cracked. But yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. <laughs> color and Jet. That's what I call these. And then when I'm diamond painting, it's a whip and jet. So it's so you can differentiate between the two. Yeah, it's a lot easier. I've done a lot less uh, color and chats than I have done. Uh, whip and chats because I, I started the channel out with uh, diamond painting so this coloring is a relatively new addition to I don't think this this could very well be white uh, what was eight orange yellow Golden yellow. Oops. I just saw eight. Where'd it go? Okay. Here we are. Ah, uh, I missed a couple eights. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Certainly gonna be an interesting picture here. Okay, nine. I always uh, put my Facebook uh, profile page in the description, uh, the website for my companion uh, Facebook business page. It's just what it's called on Facebook. It's just basically a companion uh, website where I just kind of post updates. I haven't been really doing that as of late, unfortunately, but <laughs> I'll probably take a progress picture of this. And my uh, progress on my 
uh, chalk pens and uh, diamond painting. Almost done like one third of that canvas there. Finally. <laughs> okay, nine. Okay, this whole. Oh, look at. Really good at hitting my camera here. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Turtle has like a yellow eye. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Nine. Oh. So, it's been interesting anyway. <laughs> Me sharpening a previous colors pencil crayon for the vast majority of the time. <laughs> the lead breaking like right off every time. <laughs> okay, I'll just I'll just finish this little patch here and then we'll there we go. So, take care, be safe. Uh, we'll see you next time, basically. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see you around. <laughs> Till next time. Take care. <laughs>